Hey. <laughs> little trickery. Good morning, Marcus Conti. Investigative journalist, opinionist. Scruffy Sunday. <laughs> so, uh, I want to uh, talk about some of the big issues today. I'll, I'll get into that in a second. I just want to, um, I just want to reiterate something about yesterday. About I was talking about this very, um, very profound. What is the uh, what is the cosmic mirror, <clears throat> the reflection of human suffering and human greed and human angst and and desire, wanting. I want this person to have sex. I want this house, this money, this stuff. I want to get this stuff in my fucking pocket and take it out of your pocket. It's the human, it's the unruly human condition. It's the, it's the human condition unchecked is what I'm trying to say. And that, that is, um, that is probably 90% of the population right now as a result of, you know, corporate monopoly, corporate oligopoly, whatever you want to call it, right? The, the, the quest for more has, has now transcended to the highest level in, in our politics. And it, it creates nothing but compounded suffering, even for the people that have it all. Well, think they have it all. They actually realize that that in itself is a, is a trap, that it's on, it's a, it's a, it's, there's no, there's no, it's a bottomless pit. It's an empty, it's a, it's a rabbit hole, the accumulation of more and more and more. Right? And, you know, for example, it's, it's, the temperature just broke today in, in New York. It's 69 degrees. It just, for the first time in four weeks, dropped below uh, 70 degrees. It's been 90 every day. And it's early in the morning, 69, beautiful weather, beautiful, cool. You can feel it, right? How many people are out? No, they're, they're not. There's nobody. They're not walking their dogs. They're, 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 they're either hungover, you know, they drank, they went out carrying on, drinking. Well, they're just recovering from a, you know, a, a profoundly long work week, slavery, right? Or, you know, they're, they've indulged in the, you know, the alcohol, they've indulged in now free marijuana. Or maybe they're a statistic in the 50 million opiate addicted people in America. Big Pharma feeding them that opiate. Ah. Uh fucking like this all the time. They don't feel anything. Right? Cosmic mirror. They don't even know what you're talking about. They have no idea. No connection to the suffering. At all. Like in the early 80s, there was this, this whole movement about um, prevention. Right? I was in... I, I studied nutrition in the 80s. Like I thought... I saw it. Like it wasn't snake oil. But the idea that vitamins and minerals and exercise could alleviate people's suffering... It, you know, with ex exercise as well, okay? As the guy goes running by with <laughs> highlight exercise. And uh, what I found was that, that it was, once I arrived at the, the uh, healthcare facility, <laughs> I realized that it was a big scam and, and that it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't transpire, right? So I became a musician. <laughs> anyway. But, um, you know, so snake oil salesmen and, you know, people selling you the cure-all, the fix-all, that's, that's nothing new. You know, that's been going on. That's, that's, that's the American way. That's part of, part of being America. But the suffering can be eliminated. That's all. I'll, I'll leave it there with, the, with that stuff. Right? So, so um, the topic's fi uh, 535, right? 535 is the number, right? On November 6, 2018, 535 representatives will come up for election, right? I'm not sure if all of them come up, but enough of them to tilt the balance of power, to alter the levels, levers of power, right? In Congress, you got 435 congressmen and 100 senators, most of which are come uh, mo mo the Congress, the House is every two years, Senate's every six years. so. A lot of them are coming up for re-election, right? and there lies the there lies the power, right? And and hence the fo false flag, because it's already rigged. It's already it's already established that most of the most of the incumbents will win. The, the the balance of power will stay exactly as it is right now.
because the because there's people are priced out of the election. You can't you can't run. And and why even call it an election? Because it's not an election. It's a, it's a rigged process. So to all my Democratic colleagues and friends and bloggers that are right now talking about the election, the big election, as if it is an actual election that we're going to push our progressives, we're going to push our conservatives, and we're going to take power. And wake the fuck up! It's not. It, it's not. Um, it's not. It's not possible, right? Unless you attack the, unless you chop the snake's head off, right? You gotta slice the snake's head off. And who is that snake? It's the corporate oligarchy. But on the note of waking up, I, I um, I, I had said yesterday that some people woke up around, you know, the the uh, the, the tarp area, the tarp when when banks took over our country, where Goldman Sachs systematically crushed J.P. Uh, crushed. Lehman Brothers drove Bear Stearns out of business, drove a AIG into the ground, took, took that shit, right? They took everything, right? AIG, fucking Goldman Sachs, they took everything, right? So if, if, if you were aware of, if you were aware of that, and then the rise of Obama who rode that wave of populism to overcome that and failed to do it, then you're awake. You were awake then. And if you were awake during and you saw that nothing happened and you stayed awake, you will occupy Wall Street, right? And then you, you, you bit your fucking nails all the way through the Bush era, the, the second Bush era. I mean the second Obama era, not the Bush era, right? Of nothing going to happen and the oligarchy getting stronger and stronger, right? Right? Then you're, and then you, 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 if you were still awake, you were Bernie Sanders supporter. You were supporting a the idea that was then called democratic socialism, right? Which is a bad term because too many people are fixed on this, the term socialism as a bad term. They're still running it in the media. Even smart people do it. They'll say, ah, fucking socialism doesn't work. All right, whatever. It doesn't. We don't know what the meaning of these words mean anymore. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about corporate oligarchy. So if you were awake then, and you know. You're still awake, because if you're following me, it must be, there must be something there, right? And now the new, the new awakened crowd is the Trump people that are realizing that there's no savior, that they thought Trump was the savior. And here Trump is tweeting out the truth about the, the, the media and the, you know, the, the, he doesn't, Trump never attacks the, the, the corporate entities. He, he attacks the politicians, smartly so, because Again, he's a, he's a, he's an oligarch. He's a he's a he's a corporatist. He's a corporatist chill, right? And he's not gonna he's not he's not for the people. You won't see that sort of change occur. So so that's so that's that. So let's talk about some more topics. I think I covered a lot right there. So stream of thought today. Stream of mind. Seven seven hundred and seventeen billion dollars in corporate in. Uh, Military spending. Right, Seven hundred and seventeen billion dollars in a, appropriated for 2019 military spending. Oh, wow, it's a lot of money, man. I'm gonna make some fucking bombs and planes and all kinds of shit, right? Who's gonna profit from that? Answers lie in the stock market. Lockheed Martin, Boeing, blah 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 blah. All the all the, all the, I mean, you could watch a hundred videos on the types of missiles and planes and aircraft that the military is planning to use that money for against an enemy we don't have. War is peace. Peace is war. Is that what Trump is saying? Well, it's right out of 1984. War is peace. Peace is war. Peace through strength. It's, it's fucking... It's, <laughs> That's that's a play. That's right out of the 1984 playbook. He's no different than the he's no different than the than the, the corporate shills on the Democratic side. It's the same same rhetoric. Right, so so that that money's in play, right? And you could bet your ass there's going to be a war. You could bet your ass there's going to be some kind of cold conflict because the corporations need that to to, to validate the fact that they just spent 700 billion dollars with an enemy they don't have. So. When the enemy arises, they'll make one up. CIA, FBI, Pentagon, they'll, they'll whip something, some kind of 
story. Continue the false flags to desensitize people that what you actually saw, it doesn't matter. It's what we tell you you saw. That's, what, that's the nature of a false flag. To desensitize the, the ignorant masses to, to the corruption, right? to, the, to the official narrative that we must, right? slavery, right? It's, 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 it's slavery where, you know, judicial is, is totally owned. Like, okay, so let's, let's, let's move on. So November 6th, 2018, the big election, uh, fake elections, uh, all going to happen in the United States. <clears throat> the likelihood is that some sort of false flag will occur, whether it's a, uh, a, a market crash or some sort of other ridiculous scandal, some new Stormy Daniels or uh, Omarissa, whatever the fuck her name is, right? Some kind of shit that, that the, the, the corporate media will run to to cover, co give cover for the fake election, right? And then all the incumbents and all the pay for corporate shills will get in place and the billionaires will be happy because their money was well spent. Koch Brothers is gonna spend 800 million, right? So everything's in place, 2018. Whether it's Democrat, or, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. They're all taking, they all take money from the, from the donor class. 90% of their decisions are based on the donor class. Very little has anything to do with the people. Federal politics. Nothing, it has nothing to do with it. And any politician, any local politician that tells you that, that, that at the state level these things don't affect them is totally full of shit. Don't vote for these people. Don't even, don't even discuss anything with these people anymore. They, 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 they're lying to you. Right? Totally lying to you. I'm trying to get where there's no people. Even on an early morning, still people walk by. So, um, fake midterm elections. Right? $717 billion. We could give Medicare, Medi Medicare for all. Easy. 50 million people in America already have Medi Medicare. Right? Elderly, disabled. All you got to do is just drop the age to cover everyone and then do some minor corrections. Medicare isn't perfect. It requires out-of-pocket payments. You'll eliminate all of that by... Okay, so that's one, you know. It, this, is, this is an easy... The, the, look, the, the solution is always very easy in these situations, right? It's corporate monopoly or oligopoly is actually a better term. It's not quite the monopoly yet, but we're, we're approaching it. It became an oligopoly in 08 where when all those banks I talked about and all those financial... Uh, people got kicked out, right? When they got squeezed out, it became an oligopoly, right? Where only a handful of people are controlling everything. They're controlling, they control the assets, right? Oligopoly, right? Monopoly is what the U.S. government aims to do, which is, is allow corporations to gain enormous power and strength. You see it on social media. They're now trying to control that narrative through the oligopoly of social media networks. People that control that network. Google, Facebook, Twitter, Apple. Right? All publicly traded companies all at the mercy of the larger entity, which is I guess the deep state. I mean, they're at mercy too. They, they, they respond, but in effect because the money is in their pocket, they are leading. It's kind of like a, you know, tit for tat. We'll give you this, you give us that, right? So, corporate oligarchy is the problem. How do you, how do you, how do you get rid of it? You have to have, a, a, again, the, 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 num the magic number is 535, right? The corporate, the, the, the Congress and the House are the people that make these decisions. Right? right? They, they're the ones who crunch the numbers and say, okay, this is how we're gonna. This is how we're gonna do business, right? And they do business in tune with the oligarchy. So you have to, you have to. That's that's what you have to eliminate those people, and then raise the corporate tax rate. But you see how important it is that the elections be real. My friend Politicor pointed that out to me, and I'm forever grateful that you did that, 
because you're right, it's something I know and we all know that without free and fair elections in America, you can't achieve any of these things because you can't get the decision makers in place. You know how easy universal single payer health care is to, to get in this country? Like that, done. All you need is the votes and then it gets passed into law and you get it done. Easy. Raise the corporate tax rate to 80%. Done. It's just a stroke of the pen, but there's no political will because the ignorant masses don't understand that it's in your best interest to do it. Because when you take that power away from these oligarchy, ol oligarchs, oligopolies, monopolies, they stop the insurgency wars around the globe to expand their interests where they pay zero tax. They, they, they're stealing, right? They're, they're out there, it's imperialism. I mean, history, read history. It's the thing that I talked about in the beginning of the clip about a never-ending quest for more, right? It never ends. It doesn't end, right? There's no, there's no, there's, they, every time a, a one insurgency war stops, destabilize the country, try to get the corporations in there, the subcontractors, the contractors, make, a, make money, Lockheed Martin, sell those arms. We're an arms, we're, we're a fucking arms dealer. A, 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 a seller of war, that's all we are, right? So if you stop that, what happens? That seed money then filters out and you have, an, you have a cultural boom, a, a new deal for the American people, right? Arts flourish. You know, the billionaires of the past, like the Carnegies and, and Ro even Rockefeller to some degree, they, they, didn't, they didn't take their money and hoard it and throw it offshore. They built they built libraries and they built, you know, they built um, public parks and monuments and things that, that they believe that, that to educate the masses. And you saw the climax of that in the 60s where people were very educated and in tune with politics. Now, it's not possible because of the mass distraction that the oligarchy is throwing at us. We have the tools. Of course, we have more tools now to get the message out than ever before. I mean, some guy with a you know beard and a and a baseball cap walking around in the park is communicating to an audience with a phone in his fucking hand. I mean, you know, so we have the tools to do it, but the oligarchy is one step above that, where they're controlling that messaging, and it can only get so high. There's a glass ceiling, right? That glass ceiling. Remember that glass ceiling that Hillary talked about? It had something to do with women. It has to do with all Americans right now. And, there's, and there's, there's a million or two million or three million very wealthy people that are, are living a life of extreme abundance, overabundance, massive, massive abundance of stuff that you cannot imagine. I mean, I've had a glimpse of it. I've seen this kind of wealth where you go to these very exclusive parties and, and it's $3,000 a plate and the room is full. And as you go to more and more of them, you realize that it's the same people. It's the Mercers. It's, 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 it's not necessarily the wealth, the, the, the famous, though the famous are there, but it's, it's the rich. And they all know each other, and their kids know each other's kids, and they all go to the same schools, and they live in the same you know, building in Park Avenue. They have the same summer homes down in you know, Coconut Grove in, Cal in Florida. And, It's real. It's a real deal. So um, I think I, I covered the subjects. Uh, last note on Jenny Moore. A little update on that one. The um, the murdered the girl that was uh, I'll call it a murder. Murdered uh, George Webb's right hand investigative journalist in D.C. Jenny Moore. We now know her name. She went by the name of Task Force. Um, there's new new material that I no one knew while she was reporting, but she's uh, turns out she was a San Jose police officer. And um, she is a whistleblower. She gave information about the Clintons to Camilla Harris, the then Attorney General in California. So there is high, 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 high possibility of this being a, a political hit. I mean, it's you, you cannot rule it out until you see that autopsy. It's murder. I believe it. So seizure, we're looking for medications that can bring on a quick seizure and kill a 30 or 40 year old person without any 
evidence of a suicide or a murder or anything. Did you just take a seizure? It doesn't. It's not. So, so that's all for now. So while you're here, as as usual, please buy a sticker down below. My eBay, um, my eBay uh, uh, three by three ghost sticker with the American flag helps. Uh, it helps keep this going. I mean, it's not much of an overhead really uh, to do this, but um, it definitely helps the manufacturing of, of things like that. Peace.